Good official morning, you guys. Today is Wednesday and it is June 12th, I believe. I always say that because I'm never sure because whenever I vlog, I don't usually work and I never know what day it is if I don't work. Comment down below if you can relate to that. So it is now 8.45. I only have one day off this whole entire week. Um, but Sunday is actually my last day of work at my current work. Um, so I only have four days left, which is really sad, and then we move on the 25th. If you guys are confused as to what I'm talking about, you can, I think I'm gonna try to put my life update right, or was it my life update? Yeah, right here, or I'll link it down below or something so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, so today's my only day off. My mom's coming over, and, um, we have to pack up a lot of, like, stuff in her room and like go through like closets and pack a bunch of things up see what we want to keep give away all that kind of stuff um and the house is a mess i'm gonna warn you right now it's a total mess we have boxes everywhere um obviously the big like the kitchen is pretty like normal i'm gonna do most of it once i'm done work like the living room's a mess my stepson's room is all gone i'll show you guys later um but for now so i wanted to do my hair but since i'm not going anywhere today and tomorrow i'm working i don't think i'm going to i put highlights in my hair like a month ago and i really like it i think it's cute so I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. I kind of like how it is naturally. So I'm not gonna do my hair. Um, I'm gonna get ready for the day though because my mom's coming over really soon and I wanna get ready. I'm not gonna put makeup on or anything, but I'm just gonna like put my contacts in, brush my teeth, wash my face, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and uh, let's get this day done. <laughs> Okay guys, so I washed my face, put my moisturizer on, put my under eye cream on, put my contacts in, and now I am going to put some My cat. Cool. Okay, so now I'm going to put some perfume on. So I actually received these three perfumes yesterday from Scentbird. There you go, Scentbird. And they come in these cute little like black velvet cases. And I actually didn't know about this company until they reached out to me. They're a monthly subscription, kind of like Ipsy or like any other like beauty subscription. And for $15 a month, you get one perfume. And one perfume is good for 30 days, which I'm going to quote them, is 120 to 140 sprays. So that's like three to four sprays a day, I guess. And you can choose what perfume or cologne you want they have for men and for women and you can choose what whichever one you want i'm not really like a pro in perfumes like i have my zara one and i like it and i've been using it for a while before i had another one that i used for years but i thought this would be a good opportunity to like learn about some new perfumes and like give myself a new smell you know and so they asked me which ones i wanted and i really had no preference i just said like send me whatever i really don't care um and so they sent me three random ones i'll tell you guys which one they sent me but you can like if you go on the website and you subscribe you can choose um which one you want it's 15 dollars for one but obviously i have a 30 percent off code for you guys so it comes down to 10 dollars. and these are actually like i feel like the amount of um perfume that's in here i feel like it's almost the same quality as a rollerball and a rollerball is like what 30 bucks so ten dollars with the code for this is like pretty good like i don't know i feel like it's a good deal you can try like i said any brand that you want they have like gucci hugo boss anything like that and they have like over 600 brands which is i mean you won't lack inspiration that's for sure they also have skincare and wellness products they sent me perfumes because that's what i asked for but if you want to look into that i actually haven't looked at what they have but i know that they do have skincare and wellness and everything is 100 percent authentic because they partner up with like e 
each um, individual brand. You can go up to three products per month. So if like after three months you're tired of getting perfumes, you're like, okay, that's enough, I have enough. Um, you can ask for like skincare, wellness products or things like that for your monthly subscription. So these actually, okay, I'm not gonna lie, I feel a bit dumb, but it took me like a good two minutes to figure out how to open up these bottles. But now that I figure it out, it's so cool. So it comes like this, it's like a little roller ball. And I was like, oh, how do I open it? But then, so what happens is you twist it up and then I thought that you just spray like this, but no, you twist and you pull it up. And then it's like, so I'm gonna show you guys the size. This is how big it is. And it might look small on camera, but like you know those little samples that you get from like Sephora or the drugstore? They're probably like this big. So just to give you like a comparison, that's a lot of perfume you're getting. And they're this big, but they're like this thin. Like they're really small. So you're getting like so much more. I mean, you have enough for a month in here. Like, and that's if you use like three sprays a day. If you don't, you have enough for like three months. Like, that's crazy. So anyway. Oh, this one smells really good. I love the names of the ones they sent me. So this one is In Full Bloom by Blush Kate Spade. Oh, I love Kate Spade. All right, there you go. I think you can see that. That's the first one. Second one is Jason Wu. I'm going to like, where can I spritz it? I'm going to spritz it on a Kleenex to smell it because I don't, I don't know which one I want to choose yet for the day. Ooh. This is... It smells very like professional. That's how I'm gonna name it. If ever I have like an interview and I want to look professional, I'm gonna use my Jason Moo. Okay, that's the second one. And the third one, I love the name of this one. So it's called English Laundry by London. I don't know why. Everything British, I just love. All right, this is what it looks like. Let's do another taste. <laughs> taste. Oh my god, another test with Kleenex. My mom's gonna get here and be like, why does it smell so good in here? Ooh, this one smells good too. I feel like, I feel like this smells like a cologne. Yeah, it smells, it smells like my grandpa, but it smells good. So you're gonna look up if this is a cologne. If it is a cologne, I'm gonna give it to my boyfriend. Like I said, I asked them to send me three random ones, so it's normal that there's one that I might not like because it's at random. I'm gonna look up right now if it's a man's cologne and I'll be right back. I was right, it is cologne. My nose did not deceive me. All right, so that's okay, that's okay. That's why I didn't really like it because it's for men. So I'm gonna give this to my boyfriend. He has one, I think a Hugo Boss, but it'll be nice for him to be able to switch up. So I'm gonna give this to him. And then that's why it smells like my grandpa. That's why I really smell like my grandpa. And then these two, okay, I actually, not gonna lie, I think I preferred the first one, which was, the Kate Spade in Bloom. I really like that one. So that's the one I'm going to use today. Ooh, it smells so like flower, like spring in Bloom. Duh, spring. So I'm going to put that back in its case. And I actually really like this one. I think I'm going to start alternating. It's very soft. It's softer than my Zara one. If I don't want to be too obnoxious, I can just wear that. So guys, that was my little review. I'm sure so many of you guys skipped over this. But anyways... Um, so that is Scentbirds. I think it's honestly, I'm always truthful with you guys about my reviews. If I don't like something, I'm going to tell you. And I honestly think that this is a good bang for your buck. And I think it's kind of fun, like getting a new perfume in the mail every month, especially if you chose it. it like you don't have to commit to buy the full size. You can just try it. And like $15, that's not a lot. And like for 30% off, that's $10 for your first one. I really like it. I'm definitely going to be wearing these. Oh my god, I talk way too much, don't I? Okay, um, I'm going to put this mess away because like I have like Kleenexes everywhere now. Also, I forgot to mention, but these are great for travel. Like if you don't want to bring your whole perfume bottle and you don't have any roller balls laying around, just pack one of these in your bag and you're good to go. If you're going on a month-long vacation, you're good to go. So just want to put that Before in there. my mom gets here, I thought I would show you guys what the house looks like. So I'm going to turn you guys around and give you a little, a little tour. So this was my mom's room. As you can tell, there was a big shelf here. It's gone. There was like a thing here that it's gone. So it's basically the dryer and the bed. And then we have to empty the closet. Then over here, I showed this closet once. Well, it's pretty much empty i mean it's still full but like these are things that we use on the daily so i still have to empty like the toys up there and like this stuff a lot of it's my mom's our bedroom ready for it da, 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 da. bed is still here this is here i had a shelf here that's gone 
Um, the desk is gone. Everything that I had in here is gone. And then my little thing for my shoes here is gone. Mirror is still here because we need it. Um, this is pretty much the same. This is things I'm giving away and stuff. My stepson's room is just boxes. Box on box on box. This is empty. Um, that's like his clothes that's still there. And then the living room. So his toys. I packed up a couple of them. Some of them are still here. Boxes and box galore. So, like I said, I'm going to be doing a lot more packing once I'm off. So I'll be, because I'll have nothing else to do. So I'm just going to like pack and pack and pack. But uh, hopefully we can get some stuff done today. And yeah, so exciting. And then I have to go pick up my stepson. I'm probably going to leave at 2.30 to beat traffic. So I don't think I'll vlog after that. But until then, we still have a good day ahead of us. So uh, let's do this. All right, guys. So it's 12.45. And as you can tell by the noise, we are right in the swing of things. So I'm hungry. I'm going to have an apple first snack. And let me show you guys the progress. Alright guys, so it's now 2.30, the third load of laundry is going um, in the washer and the second load is in the dryer. We basically emptied out the whole um, closet in my mom's room here and we found, I don't know if I'm going to pronounce this properly, mites, mites, you know the little bugs that like nest and eat clothes. Anyways, we found some last time. So... Um, we had I had a box with like all my baby clothes. We had to go through everything one by one and like vacuum anything that we found and then we cleaned it. Now it's in the dryer and then inspect it after once again. So it actually wasn't so bad. We had to throw out a couple of things that were like in the back of the closet because those things have been there for like eight years and no one's touched them. So uh, that took us basically like three hours and then I'm going to show you we, oh, I repacked all our Christmas. We had two Christmas boxes. I took everything out of the box and put them in new boxes because those boxes were really old and like falling apart. So, this is the box with like my baby clothes, guys. How freaking cute are these little booties? Oh my goodness. Look at these. Like, these are so ratchet, but like, they're so cute. Anyway, so this is the baby clothes. Um, that's Christmas, Christmas. And then I have two Christmas trees, one big one and one small one. And then the closet here is completely empty. We took out some things. Anyway, so we made some pretty good progress. So my mom's room is basically finished, which is awesome. Um, and then next week I'll get started on the kitchen. And my mom's gonna come back and we'll do like the closets. Like we have to go through whole thing like the linen closet and so we want to keep what do you don't want what we don't want to keep what she wants what I want anyways so ah, I'm tired um that was a lot of work so it's now 2 30 um I have to go pick up my stepson at daycare because my boyfriend is working late today and look how cute this little backpack is that I got him isn't it so cute and I just put his like water and some snacks and diapers in here so Gonna bring him his little backpack. I have to take out the compost. I'm gonna go now because I wanna beat traffic. I really do not wanna be stuck in traffic. I'm gonna go pee first. I'm gonna go now and I'll see you guys later. I almost fell asleep in there putting my stepson to sleep. <laughs> Any of you guys that are parents do that, it's like 7 o'clock, but you put your kid to sleep and you're like this close to wanting to fall asleep. And I'm like, nope, got all the stuff to do. So, like I said, it's 7 o'clock. Um, my dishes are already done, which is awesome. I just started um, folding these clothes. I'm just going to finish this and then I have to put a couple things away here. Um, 
Our dinner was really good. He ate really well. I'm so proud of him. And then he loves blueberries, so he had some blueberries. And I think I'm going to end the vlog here because there's not much else I'm going to do except like clean up and like watch YouTube videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for spending the day with me. I'm so excited. Someone commented on my um, IV insertion video that, that I should like document my ER experience. So I think I'm going to do like maybe weekly like video diaries or something where... I tell you guys like about my shifts like maybe I'll do like a story time like my first shift ever and like crazy things that happen and crazy things I see and how I like it and how it works and all that kind of stuff so I'm definitely going to document my journey not only for you guys but for myself to like have to look back on so look forward to that that'll be coming like mid July probably because I start my work on the 8th but then it's just like on the 8th probably 9th and 10th it's just like general orientation and then after that I start my actual like um like super by a shift so look out for that and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys